Hey guys, it's Corrosum here and welcome to the part 3 of this series Building a REST API with Node.js and MySQL In this video, we're gonna write some code and get some response from the API And later in the video, we will split that logic to the controller and a route and make it accessible through an endpoint So let's get started <music> In the last video, we created two files app.js and server.js and we installed express and sqlize and also we initialize sqlize using sqlize init command and that command created few additional folders uh, config folder, migrations folder, models folder and cders folder Alright, I'm gonna open up the app.js file and this is where I define my express application and it is where all our modules, all our controllers, routes are linked together with each other so in this file first I'm gonna write some logic to get a response from the API when the user visits a particular endpoint he will get this response so I'm gonna open up the app.js file and first I'm gonna import express I'm gonna create a constant called express equals to require express now I imported express and now I need to create an instance of express I'm gonna create a const I'm gonna call this app and then I'm gonna create an object of express all right this app object is an instance of express with that we can access all the HTTP methods like get post patch and etc so what I want to implement is when the user sends a get request to the API uh, to a particular URL let's say it's the root URL the API should respond with hello world so we are gonna implement it right now I'm gonna use this app object and use the get method of it like this and as the first argument I need to put the URL segment which is for now I'm using the root URL as the second argument I need to pass a callback function that needs to be called when the user sends and request to that particular URL all right I'm gonna pass an arrow function like this and that function needs two arguments request and response like this these two objects request and response has so much information you can access like request base URL request IP address query parameters stuff like that so you should visit express documentation and check them out uh, by yourself and now we are going to use this response object we just want to show some response to the user we don't want access any request details so we use this response object and in that method in that object we have a method called send right so with this uh, method we can send some response to the user so for now I just want to send some string to the user like hello world like this so this will send the response with this string all right now my yes, 
so this is complete so when the user visits the root url of this application this callback function will run and it will return a response with this hello world string all right now we need to exp uh, now we need to export this application so that other modules other other files can use this uh, app.js file for that i'm going to i'm going to export this application like this module dot export equals to i'm going to name this app like this and now i'm going to open up the server.js file this is where i write my so server so i'm going to write my server for that i'm going to import http and then i need to define a port that i should run my my server i'm going to hard code the port as port 3000 uh and then i'm i need to import my application like this require uh, th that file is also in the same directory so i can access that with uh, period and slash then the file name we don't need to put dot uh, js at the end of the file all right now i have imported my application then i need to create the server like this i'm going to create a new constant for my server call server equals to i'm going to access this method in the http object call create server and as the argument we need to pass that express application we created in the app.js file like this so we imported it so we can access it in this file too so i have created the server then i need to i need my server to listen to a particular port we have defined here so we need to write like this server dot listen to the port i defined like this so this server will listen to the port 3000 uh and it can access all the requests coming to the application all right i'm going to run this application by typing not space then server dot js like this hit enter and we don't see any response in the terminal which means that it's currently running uh, some script so let's open up the browser and see what happens open up the browser and type localhost 3000 hit enter and yes we see hello world as the response and it works i'm going to implement another endpoint like this i'm going to copy this and paste here and let's say i want to access the url of let's say blog then i'm going to respond with hello blog i'm going to stop the server by con pressing control c and run it again each time you make a change to the your application you need to restart the server and let's open up the browser again uh, for the root url yes we get hello world and uh, for the blog endpoint it's hello blog 
so the api has responded according to the url that the user access all right now what i want to do is separate this logic to separate files controllers and routes normally an application's logic is written in controllers and and we define all the endpoints that you can access in routes it's a separate file so that our project is much cleaner because we have our logic in one place and the endpoints in one place now we are going to implement the exact same thing in a controller file and let's access that uh, controller with the route file so i'm gonna clean this up uh, by removing this and i'm gonna create a new folder i'm gonna name it controllers this is where i'm gonna put my all my controllers and i'm gonna create another folder for my routes like this inside the controller file a uh, controller folder i'm gonna create a new controller i'm gonna name that uh, post dot controller dot js i name this controller as the post controller because uh, initially as we discussed we are building a blog right so the blog can have posts so this is where we can define all the logic regarding posts here i'm going to create a new method function i'm going to name this index and this method also needs two arguments request and response and let's say this method is where we can list down all the blog posts of our in our database for now i'm not gonna do any database queries or any other operations just yet uh, instead i'm i'm just gonna use a uh, simple string let's say ports ports list like this so now like we did before we can access this rest object and use the rest uh, use the send method inside that and we can pass this post er uh, post string we define like this so this method now return this string as the response and i need to export this uh, method so that other files can access this method module exports and we pass this as the as a object so other files can directly access this method hit save now what we want to do is create a route file and create a route to access this method in this controller i'm gonna create a new route inside that route folder i'm gonna name that posts so this this is where i'm gonna define all my routes regarding posts inside this i'm gonna import express and then i'm gonna import the controller i just created so that i can access the index method we just wrote uh, post controller so to access that uh, controller from this file i'm uh, i'm gonna need to go back one step and access the controllers folder and then the post controller like this we don't need to put the file extensions uh, for this now 
I have imported the controller. Now what I want to do is I need to access the router method in the express object. I'm going to create a new constant to store that router. Then inside the express object, I can access the router method like this. So this is where this is what uh, I can define my routes with. Then in the router object, I can define my endpoint like as a get get endpoint. So this method uh, asks for two arguments. First one is the URL segment, and the second one is the method we want to execute for by accessing uh, that particular endpoint. So in the post controller, the index method like this and then we need to export this uh, route so that other files can access this file module dot exports router all right now let's open up the app.js file and import that route we just defined um, I'm going to define the constant and I'm going to import my post route inside route folder post like this in the app object we can access a special method called use with that method we can run anything as a middleware for incoming requests so it will be like this app.use here we can run a function or any kind of code block for an incoming request as the first argument we need to put the url segment that we need to run our middleware so i need to run this post route module as a middleware when the users are visiting post url prefix so as the second argument i need to pass this post route like this all right time to test this on the browser uh, let's stop the server and restart now let's open up the browser and let's uh, go to the root URL we get cannot get uh, as the response because we haven't defined a route for the root URL but if we type um, posts and hit enter we get post list response as we did in our con uh, controller so we implemented the same functionality using a controller and a route file so in this video we learn how to get a response from the api by sending a get request and we also created controllers and a route file so in the next video, we will create more routes and more controllers according to the project we have discussed, uh, the block system. And also, we will learn how to pass data from a post request, a post body. So let me know what you think in the comment section and hit subscribe button if you haven't already. And we'll see you guys in the next video.